Good morning guys, it is 10 a.m. in Grand Turk. We're getting ready to get off the ship, but I want to talk to you today about the Mardi Gras. Is it too big? Let's get into that. Alright guys, now here's our opinion on the Mardi Gras. We have read numerous posts on social media where people claim the Mardi Gras is just too big, it's overwhelming, you can't do everything in one week, and uh, we also uh, watch vlogs that claim the same thing. Our experience is completely different, and I'll tell you why. It comes down to preparation, guys. We started vlogging because we watch vlogs to research all of our vacations. So for us, every vacation involves some research and we suggest you guys do the same thing. So when we got on a Mardi Gras, we were already familiar with all the decks. We were familiar with the deck plan because we studied the deck plan and we watched numerous vlogs where people did tours and things like that. Now we don't do tours. There's people that are much better at that than you know we are and quite honestly I don't have the patience to go through every square foot of the ship but we show you things we think are interesting and we just keep everything really relaxed in all of our vlogging there's no structure to any of it and some people might not like that some people might find it refreshing it's just who we are so with that said guys here is the Mardi Gras tip you need to use to Make sure you make the most of your vacation on this ship and you don't become overwhelmed with the size. Number one, there's 19 decks, right? Not really, because there's never a 13 deck, right? There's never a deck 13 on Carnival ships. So like we are staying at deck 12, above us is deck 14. Okay, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. Uh, deck 19 is basically the uh, Loft 19 the exclusive area for uh, suite holders, which we were granted access to Loft 19 all week and we are enjoying it, it's great. But that one is basically off limits. You don't really have to worry about that unless you have a suite. So here's the decks you need to concentrate on. Look at the, Car the Carnival Mardi Gras deck plan on their website. Study decks six, seven, and eight. Those are the three most important decks. Deck six, seven, and eight very very important if you want to stay close to the food and be near summer landing which is the rear of deck eight which is a really cool area guys stay in the aft of the ship the back of the ship that that is one tip that's where we are we pick the back of the ship to be near summer landing and the food choices that are directly below and above us okay so you're going to study deck six that's where the french quarter is Deck seven is where the casino is and the alchemy bar and a few other things. Okay, deck eight is where all of the other big specialty restaurants are located at. The ones you're gonna wanna visit. Shebang, Rudy Seagrill, Cucina del Capitano, and a few others. Now, that, that is a very, very cool place. And on deck eight, you also have Summer Landing. That is where Guy's Smokehouse Brew House is located. And it opens up and the Heroes Bar is located right in that same area and it opens up to a deck on deck eight where there's a pool and that is summer landing. Now, that pool doesn't have towels. So the pro tip is make sure you take your towel from your room and you go down there to that area. And it has its own little pool, has some hot tubs and there's a bar down there called the Bargain Hole. It's a really cool place, check that out. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they go to the main pool on deck 16, the Lido deck. So check that out. It's a really cool place to go, especially on the sea day. Get there early, get you a, a, a chair, and you can be there all day. Now, so you're going to know 6, 7, and 8. And now the other decks you need to be familiar with is deck 16. That's the Lido deck. That's where you have your other food choices. That's where the buffet is. That's where the main pool is. That's where your deck parties are going to be. The Red Frog Tiki Bar is two levels between deck 
16 and deck 17. So if you think of deck 16 is a Lido, it's like a 16 to 17 is like a double layer Lido deck, right? So deck 17 has Guy's Burgers. Guy's Burgers is up there basically by itself on deck 17. It's a huge Guy's Burgers, biggest one we've ever seen. So that is where you want to know, 16, 17. It's basically the same thing, just two layers. Then above that is deck 18. That's where Serenity is. Forward, 18 forward, that's where Serenity is. That's all you really need to know, guys. Once you get a handle on that, study deck six, deck seven, deck eight, deck 16 slash 17 and 18, you're, you're good to go. Make sure you select a room that is close to the areas you want to visit. So it's just straight up and down the elevator to get to those locations. You're going to be really happy you did it that way. We have been on a larger ship, guys. We were on Harmony of the Seas, much bigger than this one. Folks that have only sailed Carnival are just blown away about the size of the ship. It really, it's big, but it's not too big, guys. Don't listen to that. Formulate your own opinions. Check it out. Be prepared and you will have a great time. We are loving it. Talk to you soon. Bye.